Yeah, as the Devine Street District continues to grow with new restaurants, apartments and shops opening, our Kaylin Hagwood visited the area to learn more about what's to come. Columbia's Divine Street District has seen a lot of change over the years from their clothing store, Britain's. We moved to Divine Street uh, 26 years ago. Perry Lancaster and his wife, Stacy Levinson, have bared witness. The trolley uh, used to stop one block away and a new building uh, is at that corner now and called the trolley. It's a residential area. Across the street was an empty uh, area. It's now apartment homes. So great to see so many new buildings, commercial and residential. Tracy Wright, the past president of the Divine Street Association, owns Just the Thing Clothing, a 20-year store. She says a new bakery, sandwich shop, and real estate company join the growing list of businesses on the way. So I love the creative people that are seeing our district and are saying, let's do this, let's do that. New businesses can bring Bring more traffic, but the Divine Street Association says they're advocating for changes that keep the area pedestrian friendly. Now that we have basically businesses on both sides of the street, which has sort of evolved over my years here, um, it used to be kind of a one sided situation. We really need to focus on how to keep the pedestrians safe going um, across the street. Susanna Hayes has lived in the nearby Shandon neighborhood since the 80s. There really wasn't a lot. More restaurants have opened, and it's just a fun place to come now. A community centered on growth. In Columbia, Kaylin Hagwood, News 19, WLTX.